Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn how to find and solve the common errors when trying to calculate your model. We are going to start from the Analysis tab and we are going to select the Calculate option from here. I'm going to press Calculate. I'm going to select Load Cases and press OK to start the calculation. First, I see FemDesign question. Uh, it say, says that one or more identical copies of structural elements are found. Here I have three options. Yes, to delete all identical copies and continue calculation. This means that FemDesign will automatically uh, delete those identical copies. No, to calculate without deleting, FemDesign will leave those identical copies and continue the calculation and cancel to check and fix the problem for all the problems one by one by myself. In here, I'm going to press yes. So FemDesign will delete those identical copies. We will now wait a second uh, so that the FemDesign will find the mistakes or errors that I have made in my model and then we are going to continue by checking out those errors. So first of all a uh, message bot box appears in here and uh, whenever you see message bot box with error and uh, the continue uh, button here is inactive it means that the error is uh, so big that you cannot actually continue your calculation. And here you can see that FemDesign will find overlapped covers here, which means that uh, those uh, covers that was supposed to uh, uh, transfer uh, loads to your structures, uh, there is one or two uh, overlapping. So the FemDesign doesn't actually know where those loads are supposed to go. What we can do here, we can actually save this. And when we are saving this, we can see all the errors and warnings in our view here. And when we go back to structure page, we can locate those errors there, like these overlapped covers, and fix them. So I'm going to press break after saving those. And now I can see that the overlapping covers are somewhere around here. And by Going to structure page, I'm simply gonna put my covers on, and this was quite easy, easy to locate. I can see that I have multiple covers here, or one cover over this bigger cover here. So I'm gonna uh, activate this. I'm actually gonna hide uh, this bigger cover here, and then I'm gonna press the smaller one and erase here. Now I'm going back. The analysis tab and here I can see uh, the other warnings I had. I had this warning load mismatch. This doesn't actually break the calculation uh, but if you leave this like this uh, like the fem design says in here uh, the load uh, has parts outside of the structure therefore those parts will be ignored and here is the area that is actually uh, over uh, structural parts so uh, from here I can see that it's not that big of an area but I'm still gonna fix that and here I can see that it means load case uh, live load where the problem is so I'm gonna go to loads I'm gonna hide these here and I have live load active here already and I can see that I have misdrawn this load here and I'm simply gonna fix this by dragging it to the correct place. So now we can go back to analysis tab and try to calculate this structure or this model once again and see if we got any error message.
So in here, we are already seeing that the calculation has surpassed the last uh, point where, where we got the errors. Now I'm gonna uh, stop this video and we will continue when the calculation is done. So after the calculation have finished, we get this warning message. Uh, it means that the calculation has gone through, but we have some uh, problem still in our model. We, when we read here, it says large nodal displacement or rotational rotation was found. I'm going to close this and see if we can find the problem. So in analysis, we change in quick tools, we got the results, analysis, and since we had the problem with the displacements, I'm going to check the transnational displacements. I'm going to first check one of the wind load cases and see if I can find the problem. Finding the problem becomes easier by going here to see the scale factor. And here I can see the scale, scale factor is actually very small. And I can see that some of the parts are already starting to displace uh, in my view. So that means the problem is probably in here. I'm just gonna increase the scale factor. Okay. Let's see if I can just activate the dead load. I'm going to scale back the view like this. And here I can start to see where the problem is. So here I can see that other parts are actually working like they were supposed to. But here I can see that this column is not uh, interacting with the foundation here and it will will probably mean that I have modeled, uh, make a modeling error here. Uh, one other way I can easily check this is going a little bit further like this. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna set the scale factor to be a little bit bigger. Let's say 300 here. And I'm gonna press the animate result. And with this, I should be able to see clearly where's the problem, where the problem is. So like in this animated uh, view, you can see all the foundations are acting with the columns, but here you can see that the column is actually not working in a proper way with the foundation. So let's go back to structure. And here let's use the uh, correct model tool, tool, select these parts and check if I can just align this column to structure and here I can see the problem that the, oh, the, that the fem design found the problem. I select fix all and now I can see that the column is fixed to the place it should be. So here was the uh, I think the most common mistakes that can be made or found in the calculation and I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.